Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 4. Last time we touched down in the Sun Speckled Terrace, collected some raw materials, explored a cave, and met the Ice Pikmin, and rescued our boy Russ. Time to explore. We're ready. The only area that we've unlocked, and if you like exploring the only area we've unlocked, let's go and uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe. I must completely mess that up. My brain was going in two different directions at the same time, and that is a recipe for disaster. So let's see how much progress we can make now that we have a little bit more knowledge and skills under our belt. We have the charging horn. There's quite a few more treasures. Yet to be collected. Once we get going, these these areas start to fall in line pretty quickly. You'll notice that. As you can see, that bridge just itching to be built. Hello? Yes. Now Ochi can jump. He's got some hops. Yes. Now Ochi will carry our Pikmin. This rules. Yes. Great. Once again, just opening up the game, making it way more broken. So what's nice here? You can have the game auto-assign the amount of Pikmin that you would like to bring with you. In whatever capacity you're interested in. Now we should be able to do this. Great game. Thanks for interrupting me. Yes, we've already talked about this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, basically, you're gonna wee, you're gonna wee. You're not gonna wee unless you didn't go before we got on the bus and then you're in trouble. But as you can see, the Pikmin will gather up the necessary supplies. I am struggling to speak here in a moment. All right, so I want to go and find. Oh, I didn't know that he does a hard stop right there. I don't really care for that, but the bridge is complete. With all the puzzle pieces in mind, that was done ironically. Okay, so there was a, there was a treasure that we didn't have time for. It was, there she is. This is probably gonna have way too many, or way too large of a, oh, no, oh wait, nope. Toy effect, great. I'll have the Ice Pikmin carry that back. And now we can open this up. I don't know if Ochi can do this by himself, maybe? This is more of an Ochi thing. I think something's happening. It looks like the dirt is slowly being pulled away. That one Ice Pikmin's like, I'm doing my best! This is a group project where one person is clearly more equipped for it than the others. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out. It's a little constipated, but it'll make it. Just slowly uncorking the pipe here. You did it! Great. And conveniently, the Pikmin, like I had mentioned before, will just hip hop right up on top of you. Which is wonderful. This is the oops, this is the ledge that they were showing before as your demo for where Ochi can go. Most things in this capacity will be a uh, will be knocked off ledges to some to some extent. That's the mechanic that they're really, really into in this game. They love it. So, you'll be seeing a lot of that. I don't remember where... Uh, oh, I, they built the bridge. I was like, where did I send my Pikmin? I really forgot for a moment. That was embarrassing. 
I was like, uh, guys, where did you go? They're just over here hanging out for the majority of the episode, and I just completely forget. So yeah, conveniently, in the same vein that I did this in my Pikmin 2 playthrough, I'm probably going to have a, a similar approach where we go explore and then at the at just the tip of the day we will double back and explore the cave. I feel like that's probably a pretty healthy way to do things. This looks like an area where there would be a mini boss. If there's not, I would be shocked. There's two caves here. And isn't it America's favorite pastime? It's baseball! All right. Just to be safe, I'm gonna use red Pikmin. Can't really justify... We can move the base here too, why not? Can't really justify risking ice Pikmin. They're of course our new babies. Now I'd have to imagine, given the fact that there is an electric gate that is impeding our progress, that we are on the cusp of acquiring a certain shockingly fun to use amount of pick. That was really lame. I'm sorry. Ooh, there we go. So as I think Colin or Russ alluded to, you are able to find raw materials from those little dirt mounts. Very convenient. And like I mentioned before, you're gonna need a butt done. Just trust me on this one. I was gonna explore the overworld, but I really don't know if there's much more to do. At least insofar as this area. Whoop. I might honestly just go ahead and tackle one right now. Maybe two, I don't know. What is this? The Hectic Hollow. Someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but Moss, what Moss? Is that his popper? Was unable to climb the wall. I have to leave her behind for now and hope we can meet up in a better place. Okay. Why not? I don't know what to expect. We'll just let the game auto assign. It's pretty safe for the most part. You obviously can manually choose what loadout of Pikmin you want, but I don't really... I don't really feel like it's that big of a deal until you get further in where there's enemy specific or hazard specific caves but even then the game is still pretty good about letting you know okay so here we go this is a new mechanic here mushrooms i don't know if these always give you raw materials or just sometimes but of course we like those especially early in the game you're going to want to try to get as many as you can Ooh, look at this now I can demonstrate the pickup uh, gimmick. I don't even know why I was struggling with it. There's a lot of raw materials in this cave. We like that. And now because Ochi can jump, Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. We will hop off real quick and gather ourselves some more ice Pikmin. Now, if we recall, there's a little bit of progress that we can make overworld wise with water we're gonna I'm gonna demonstrate how to freeze water right here you need 10 Ta -da, and it will stay frozen for as long as you leave them there and you can walk across Ooh, there's a matrioska doll I think that's how you say that word I don't remember how to do the buttons I do not have enough pigment for this so I will Double back and grab some more of my bros. These early caves are nice. Good way to get your feet wet. There you go. And like I mentioned before, as long as you leave your Pikmin there of the ice variety, they will keep that water frozen. Now, we don't need them to do that anymore because we have the item. But there will eventually be puzzles that will require you to leave them there temporarily, grab them, 
and then come back. It's meant to be kind of like a an against the clock thing. The ice will melt. It gives you like, I don't know, four to five seconds, maybe ten. That's a big range. I shouldn't have said that. All right, so in similar fashion to what we saw in the little... Um, promotional thing in the beginning. I wanted to use the rush horn. I don't know if it's going to let me do that. There's nectar here for our brand new ice pikmin, although I'm pretty sure they were fine. How do I do the... Okay, there we go. So it's just hitting the X button. I, for a second, I thought it was going to let me do it. But this rules. I'm going to be abusing that. Use and abuse, baby. You can rush all your Pikmin at once. Just a nice way to clear this up. There's more ice Pikmin in here. And as you can see, the X is blocked by some pots. Not going to be able to do anything with that, unfortunately. So we'll have to come back. Now, I don't think I have any Pikmin. Oh, no, I do. Okay. There's still a little bit of some youths here that need a little pick-me-up. Where's my vape at? Okay. So these guys are having a little bit of trouble. So we're going to help them out. We are really doing a great job gathering all of these Pikmin. This is really exciting. Oh, we're stuck. Yeah, get used to this animation. This is going to happen quite a bit as you play more and more. Um, actually, I don't want my, my ice pickman to do this. This is why reds are here. To do the dirty work. Now everybody else can... Uh, we can multitask, which... If you haven't already heard it, the term Dandori, they've pushed it a little bit. They got... They felt really clever saying that. And they won't hesitate to let you know. I thought I grabbed these. Maybe I didn't. I think there's a mechanic that if you call your Pikmin off in any capacity, that the materials may go back to where you found them. Also, the items that we collect treasure-wise come in sets, which I think is very cute. In this case, there's a Matryoshka set, which I think is great. Okay. So Ochi cannot go that way, but Ochi can't climb up ramps. So there you go. A relatively innocuous, pretty easy first cave. Now we have more ice Pikmin than red Pikmin, which is great. And conveniently, they do not hit us with having to do more raw materials right at the end. That would be a pain in the butt. I do not approve. Oh, this is not the end. There's more than one floor. Oops. Okay. Well, hopefully, in the event of this happening, we'll be able to collect five more ice Pikmin. Then we'll be able to do the overworld. But that would also probably require us, I think, we might need another Flarelick. Really hate that name. Flarelick, Flarelick, I don't know. Can y'all can y'all do this? There's some of you that need it. I see you. There we go. Still get a little creeped out that it sounds like they're kissing. They're just like, mm, give me a little kiss. Come in here and give me some of that sugar. Okay. So we looks like we have a little bit of a puzzle here. Can we figure it out, viewers? Ooh. We have a new enemy here. Oh, oh boy, run. Okay. So this is the uh, Hosuma what? I don't know, this is like, it's like some rhino something, I don't know. But his whole gimmick is that he charges things. But now he's dead. So, <laughs> no worries, we got another, uh, we got another spicy spray, which I, which I'm a, a fan of. I don't know what I was really trying to say there. And we can use all of our ice Pikmin, or at least as many as necessary to speed up this process. And take out the ice jelly. We're going to learn the mechanic of dangling items here. And it's schnoz. What a nice big schnoz. 
An acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. Ooh, AI. Isn't that just the flavor of the year? Or a few years? So a treasure appraiser? Hmm. So this is the game opening up the gimmick that the castaways that we're looking for isn't just the rescue squad, that there are civilian castaways to pad the stats. And this is basically them giving you a reason to go into caves. And as you go into caves and collect these civilians, it gives you more pup points. That's pretty much it. So those are the two types of people that we can rescue so far. Are there more? I don't know. We will find out. But yes, as we can see right here, we're gonna need to use some Pikmin to weigh this down. It looks like it's caught in a web. No worries, there's no spider enemies here yet, thankfully. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was gonna work better. I would like to Speed that up, and because we are essentially at the tail end of this cave, the exit is here. I thought it was in the previous floor, but I'm stupid. Um, once you collect the treasure, you can just get the heck out of there. So conveniently, you don't have to worry about that. Any Pikmin that you gather throughout your exploration will be in tow, which is great. So here's the Hectic Hollows, pretty tough cave. Just barely made it out. And we were lucky enough to get the Mama Doll Head, the Empty Vase, the Aspiration Ritual Pole. I don't know what that means. But I do love the names. Investigation complete. Complete. All right, so we got 20 Ice Pikmin there for a total of 30. Quite a bit of sparkling as well. We're halfway to our goal. I are almost halfway to our goal of 3,000. I think that's what it was. Or was it 1,500? If it's 1,500, then we're almost there. Button up right against it. And that's a nice little tidbit. When you visit Russ for the first time that he develops something new, you'll get a freebie. Not that that's something I'm worried about, but you know. So... This is a problem. We don't have a way to have enough Pikmin on the field to take advantage of using the 30 Ice Pikmin yet. So I teased that a little bit. If you used all 30, then of course, in the moment of doing so, you would run out. And you'll have no Pikmin to actually continue on carrying anything, making any sort of progress. If only there was a way to change that. Hmm. There is a flower look in the distance, but we can't do anything with that yet. Because it's a little bit too high for us. Maybe if we explored another cave, viewers? What do you think? The industrial maze. The ground, it started moving. I gr ooh, ooh, do not like that word. For a way forward, but I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if moss will be able to help. So we're going to learn all about subdividing. This is going to teach you about pressing buttons, using Ochi for place holding, and the art of Dandori. Dandori is life. Okay. The industrial maze. I don't know how far we have to get into the game before we get a boss for the first time, but we're separated. Ochi's going to have separation anxiety. He's just a little bob. What's the protocol? Good question. Find a rendezvous point, Bengus. So yeah, you can uh, you can switch back and forth. This is a mechanic that you will have to get used to. That is not what I meant to do. I don't know what. Okay. Oh, there's a specific thing now for Ice Pikmin. That's not what I meant to do. Not really a scent for Ochi to follow, that's fine. This 
So I don't believe that there's anything we can do here. So we're stuck. This is just the end of the game, I suppose. How do we switch to Ochi? I forget. Oops, I used a spicy spray. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. I got excited. I need to actually show. Oh, and Ochi gets it too, even though he's way the heck over there. Ochi's like, yes. They're extremely fired up. Yeah, we'll get plenty of those. So don't worry about me being an idiot. Okay. So I think we can change our shortcut settings. I don't want this on this anymore. Let's say disband. Um, how do we switch to OG? Switch! There we go, Nintendo Switch. Okay, so now we're OG. Very cool. And some friends. Unfortunately, OG can't pluck these, but uh, OG can step on buttons. Which I guess is nice in the sense that we can just more quickly do things, but it's not super necessary. Now we do have an item here. But we're not going to be able to do anything with it yet. Those Pikmin will just live there forever. Let's go ahead and pluck some new friends. Yeah. Who's ready? It's our boys. The yellow Pikmin. A shockingly good time. Look out. What does it say? Yellow Pikmin. I've decided to call the yellow-eared Pikmin Yellow Pikmin. Great. I like that they... That, I like that name a lot, more than Ear Pikmin. Resistant to electricity and they can fly high, you betcha. Okay, so Yellow Pikmin are great. Something to be mindful of though, they do get thrown quite a ways. And it is very easy and unfortunate that if you're not being careful, you could potentially throw your Pikmin off the ledge. And sometimes you can rush off the ledge too. So just be careful. Make sure to rush cancel if you need to. That will in effect stop your momentum. I know, relax. Now the individual Pikmin will be fine. The ones carrying something are like, I don't know what I'm doing. So you can change the walkways and then that will give them all Temporarily the ability to come back. You just got to keep switching it up. Get them most of the way and then they can carry it back to the start. Pretty convenient. You don't need It's not weighing it down either. So you don't have to worry about that. It's more a matter of. Um, just doing it incrementally. That should be enough. There's another item up here. My name's Brian and I like to skateboard. So. It's gonna take all your yellows. And you're gonna to have to do a similar process. As you can see, this is going the op opposite direction we need it to. And so the Pikmin will just stagnate. They'll just spin in a circle and they'll be like, what do we do? Can't do anything on your own, huh? So much for being an independent worker. Put that on your resume. Seems like a bit of a fib now. And there is a, there's one raw material back there. I think I can I jump over this Whee! yes go ahead and grab it it might seem like it's not a big deal you can just you know I'll skip a raw material here and there uh, you won't want to do that just trust me on this there's a lot of things that you have to pay for and that being the currency you're gonna need a lot so just keep that in mind we will have these Pikmin work on that for now have Ochi help them out we're going to sneak back in, grab our friends. I should be able to... No, we'll just go the traditional way. Switch! Ochi, of course, like they said, can overpower the walkway. Struggled. That made it sound like I was being very thematic and cool, but I was just struggling with my words. That never happens. Okay. Walkways, changing direction. We are whole again. Okay. Very cool. 
And this is why the rush horn is so useful. Everything is done so much faster. All right, boys, carry that up. Now, as I mentioned before, once your Pikmin are done doing what they're gonna do at the beginning of the level, you don't have to wait and go get them. The game will conveniently scoop them back up for you. And everybody's back in the pool. I love that. That's a very nice touch. I mean, that's something that was in Pikmin too, but I would imagine there's probably plenty of people that have experienced a certain level of anxiety about leaving your Pikmin behind. But here we go, the final sub-level. This will be the final floor of the cave and the final part of the episode for today. There must be a castaway nearby. Okay. So this is an item. And, oh, there's a... Uh, this is a wisp, I think is what they're called. Oops. Almost just tossed you into the abyss. If I would have done that correctly... I think we need yellows, actually. I'm going to not do that because I don't trust my throwing abilities. I'm going to hop onto Ochi. And... Re wreak some destruction. Whoa. Oh, there's a duck. What the duck? Okay. Just going to be introducing a bunch of mechanics all at once. Ochi will have to hang out for a second. Here's the exit. And a way forward. So you'll need this. This is obviously the game forcing you to bring it around town to collect this. Because your Pikmin can go through these gates. But they can't bring treasure through them, obviously, because that's not how physics work. So we won't be able to take advantage of that, unfortunately. Oh, she's on the other side of that. He's like, please. Okay. There we go. So, knocking down the wisp. Be very careful in doing this. Um, make sure you don't rush your red Pikmin because they will die. So we have to really bring it all the way around, it appears. Hey guys, how about we chill out? Let's just, let's just give it a break. So while that happens, I'm also just kind of uh, winging it here, to be clear. We need it here to be clear. I don't... I mean, I've played through this game. I've 100%ed it, but that was eons ago. That was a year ago. Which is crazy to think that this game is a year old, because it doesn't feel like it is. It came out last summer. There's more yellows for you to enjoy. I, um... Yeah, I mean... I played it, it so much so fast that it doesn't really feel like I... Like I did. It was just a bit of a blur. I went hard on this game, but... You know, in a year's time, I don't really recall exactly what I've done. What have you done? Now we should be able to jump onto this air pad, this drone. Be cool if you could have restaurants do that and like bring you a, uh, bring you food. This lowers gates though. I think this is just, hold on, there's got to be another way. We'll bring the Pikmin this way. Ochi will stay. Oh, the castaway's up there. Can we get him down? Ochi got himself into a tussle. Oh, he's trying to fight the wisp. <laughs> he's like, I need to kill something. All right, that's fine. Ochi has a taste for blood. Yeah, game I know. Thank you. We'll come back to that. Yeah, it's been a hot minute, so... Usually when I play through these caves, it's going to essentially be almost like I've done it for the first time. It's been that long since I've played that my memory is going to be hazy. Like, I understand, obviously, how to play these games. Thankfully, albeit not well, but because I have experience, I can put that on my resume. Okay, now we can... It's lowered the gate over here, which is great. We're gonna use our reds. Anytime that you get a variety of Pikmin that is not red, I would almost exclusively encourage you to... Oh, you can move the base here, I didn't know that. Drop the base. I would almost encourage you to uh, use those Pikmin 
the reds to do your bidding and then obviously use your specialty pikmin to clear out hazards or to you know do something else so we have unlocked a new area good job ochi and bangus this is basically just going to every any time that you hit a sparklium quota that is going to be the game telling you that you've unlocked a new space that's pretty much it and it's not your space it's my space all right so now we have our castaway i think that is the last of the things that we need to do the game will of course alert you otherwise Let's speed this up a little bit this is why the rush horn is amazing. Although I could have just moved the base, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. So we will wait. They're doing a pretty good job anyway. They're hoofing it. There's not gonna really be a ton of time left in the overworld once this is done. I wish they would make such a big to-do about this. This stops becoming as big of a deal once the People you collect are normal, which is this, just the civilians. This is Kingsley the Florist from Uji. No, oh, geez. Florist? Yeah. So this will all make sense. The civilian castaways, as a gimmick, will be explained once we get back to home base. There's, it's not. It's just a way to pad the game out a little bit. It's nothing really, like, exciting. We got Kingsley. It's another pup drive. You get one per. And let's see what we grabbed. We have the memory fragment, the personal entry plank, the stately rubber cutie, detect detective's truth seeker, and the unlimited locomotive. And that's an investigation complete. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We got 15 yellows. Increasing our total Pikmin to 119 because I'm stupid and I lost a red. Hooray! But that wasn't too bad. And this already is kind of spill on the beans here. The side missions. As you unlock these civilians, they will have certain things for you to do. To gather collectibles of a certain variety, blah blah blah. Gives you more raw materials and things of that nature. So... I actually don't need any of the ice pikmin right now, so I'm gonna just fill it out with ketchup and mustard. The one thing that I really do want to do before we run out of time today is the flarlick is over here. I'm gonna grab it because we're gonna need it. Having more pikmin on the field is always gonna be a plus. So we'll use those guys to unearth it. Yellow Pikmin are quick at digging. I know that in the past when I did Pikmin 3, uh, a former commenter, um, as in like, in that series, not, they're like, I'm probably assuming they're still alive, hopefully. Uh, they mentioned that there are different digging speeds for those Pikmin, which is great. Also, I thought I, I knocked this wall down. Apparently I didn't, that's annoying. That's okay. This should just take a moment. Just a moment. Okay, hold on. There we go. And, of course, you get your raw materials for this. We're at the better part of the end of the day. So, you know, we're three quarters of the way through. Once all this happens, I will feel pretty content to end the day. This game is not that long that I'd be upset to... Kind of take it easy. We're making a pretty good amount of progress, though. We did two caves. Got an overworld treasure and a flarlek. So that's pretty darn good. So now we can consider ourselves patted on the back. We... I don't know if there's other... I don't think there's any, any other overworld treasures. But what's really nice, though, too, if you get a chance, is just kind of, like, zoom out a little bit. And just look around. This game is so pretty. What do you expect, though, from a Nintendo game? Nope, didn't mean to do that. How do I interact with the onion? There you go. So now we can actually do 40, which is great. So let's just fill out the remainder. We'll, I'll show you in the next episode or whenever the next time I am in this area 
what you're able to do when you freeze this water right here. It's not really beneficial to do it in the present just because only having 10 additional Pikmin isn't great. Probably want to have a little bit more, but if we remember, we do have an electric gate impeding our progress. So we can do something about that. Make sure you have your yellows selected though, because this would be a very disastrous mistake that I've definitely not made. Of course not. That would be a crazy thing to happen to D-Mike. We cannot jump up here. Ochi does not have the hops. I would like him to. Is there another way around this yet? And your yellows will, even in knocking down electrical gates, they get you raw materials too. Pretty sweet. We have 141. You're just gonna want to get as many as you can all the time. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think there's a way over there yet. There's a cave that's right here though. Oh yeah, there is, duh, it's right in front of me. I'm being a Bengus. Speaking of, our boy. Yeah, we're making a ton of progress. This is pretty impressive. If you don't like it. Oh, okay. Just like. Can I not get it down from there? <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. This is annoying. Can you nudge it? What are you doing? You dummies, get up there. Ugh, are you kidding me? One short. Can you, ugh. I'm just gonna throw you rapidly at this until you big dummies figure this out. Come on. That wasn't awkward or anything, jeez. Have these reds uncover that. We'll grab the yellows once they're done. I don't want to do a third cave in one episode. That's too many. I'm not trying to speed run this one. But yeah, we got a new we got a new area. Which is cool. I will um Oh of course I have 24 Pikmin. That's okay, we can use OG. When in doubt, if you ever feel like you don't have enough Pikmin to do what you need to do. You can have OG. Now I'm gonna switch back to this base because now that we've moved the goalposts a little bit, like a politician, this will prevent the various Pikmin that we have from going too far. These are the yellows that were by the gate that were left over. That is heckin' awesome. We have done so well. Hurry, carry it. Yeah, this game is incredible. I love it. That is all of our Pikmin. 2,000 Sparklium too. We have pushed it to the limit. Yeah, you bet I have. I'm gonna check over here and see if there's anything else I can grab with a few moments to spare. I don't believe so. There's a little bit of a moat here that we'll have to deal with another time. Also, there is a cannon. Nope, that's a... I forget what that's called. A butthole beetle? Ooh, there's a yellow... Oh, this is a crush bag, not a push bag. There we go. It's the yellow onion. We found it. Hooray! Yellow onions are actually a thing. Those are real food. And red onions are too. But after this, it gets a little bit weird. Okay, so we should be able to transport this. Maybe in the time we have left. Takes 20 Pikmin. And because we are right here in the event that things start to get a little weird, we will be able to call off the troops. It's not that far. And if they take it over this ledge right here, if they're not dumb, this Pikmin's like, wait, what about me? These guys are little stragglers. If they take it right off here, we should be able to make it. The safety circle has been engaged. Soon to be married. There we go, we'll have two onions. Man, this has been a super productive episode. Our Dandori skills are off the heckin' charts. There we go, time for the fusion. Orange Pikmin, just kidding. All this basically means now is 
Orange, <laughs> wow, there you go, being an idiot. Yellow palette posies will appear on the overworld. Very nice. I don't know if this gives you the benefit of of a flower luck. I don't think that it does. I want to say we're still only locked into 40. Yep. Okay. So that's nice. We did it. Didn't mean to click that. That is a job well done. Yeah, you can see the Peliposis now are, like in other Pikmin games, they'll shift colors. They'll do a rotation. I don't know what order it is. Now, obviously, with two colors, it's just back and forth. So nothing to worry about. But there you go. The reds and the yellows putting in the work today. A longer episode, but it was worth it. You can thank me for that later. All right, skipping forward. I didn't need to show all that. Probably going to try to tighten things up as the journey goes on. Probably going to have the game yap at us here for a moment, and then we will get the heck out of here. We did it. Time for the recap. Time to poop some items into the ship. Oh, we've uncovered a new area. Yeah, nothing aesthetically changes, but the game will obviously just tell you this. There you go. Every time you get a new sparklium amount hit, that's right. And it'll tell you that there's more people out there. Hooray! We gonna get ya! Huzzah! Yep. Alright. That's awesome. We did great. Got Schnoz and Kingsley. Two pup drive items. And plenty of treasures. Let's see. Oh, we finished the Great Adventure series. Awesome. That's the ones that were in the overworld here. You get a bonus, of course, with a little bit more sparkling when you complete. There you go. So this is the appraisal. More sparkleum for finishing sets. Very cool. So that's the double dragonide scope. And the other one was... Oh, sorry, the Orb of Destruction, the Sunseed Berry, and the Temporal, 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 what is wrong with me? Mechanism. Okay, so, so far we've only really lost uh, one Pikmin, so I feel pretty good about that. But job well done. Yeah, the, uh, the gibberish is the best. We're going to have to open up home base to share some space with our friends. Calling the Everwiner. We've got some side missions to acquire now going forward. But that's it. We've done it. Rescue mission day four is on tap next. And this just is the same thing. So yeah, that's all for today. We'll check out the rest of the home base with the new additions next time. But thanks for watching everybody. I have been D Mike. This has been Pikmin 4. If you enjoyed this, if you could like the video, comment and subscribe and look at the YouTube shorts. I'll see you next time for some more Pikmin 4. Bye.